What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing a Teamer Cube draft here on Wheel of Fortune dot deck. Interesting, interesting. Wasteland and Ramunap Excavator in the same pack. Thran Dynamo seems good. <sighs> I always buy my weapons from a guy called T-Rex. He's a small arms... <laughs> God. Where's the lie? I wonder if we should take the Thassa and then start building around Thassa. Oh, fact of the day. Love it. The Earth's magnetic field has grown 9% weaker over the past 200 years. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. There's got to be a reason. I mean, I guess I don't have to wonder blindly, like, oh, if only there was some explanation. I'm going to take Thassa and try to build around Thassa. That's what I'm going to do. Like Rexage, right? Like Rexage is perfect. Um, building a cube is a lot of work. I agree with you. 9% is a lot, yeah. Like 10% of your magnetic field. The, the magnetic field thing is my bad. <laughs> See, I don't know why, but that's hilarious. Oh, sorry guys, that's my bad. Um, okay, so Yavimaya Dryad's probably the best card to go with Rexage, or to go with Thassa, but I think we're just taking Vivian because she's very, very good. Kozilek, huh? Tooth and Nail is in this cube. I'd like to have a few, including an Innistrad one. Yeah, so maybe you should work on one, and then you can tackle the the few after that. I kind of like Kozilek here. We could also take Karuga and have it as our companion. Interesting. I really don't like the idea of not having any plays until turn three. It's not ideal. I'm just going to take Kozilek here. I think it's just the strongest card, and it leads to the most things that we can... Oh, man. You're going to make me choose between my, my love Elder Gargroth and my love Mystic Confluence? Well, I'll take Mystic Confluence then. Yeah, you're not you're not getting me to pass a Mystic Confluence. <clears throat> Mana Leak, Findhorn Elves, Dryad Forbid. I actually really like the blue green cards that we're seeing here. Blightsteel is pretty sweet if we get a Tinker. I kind of just like Mana Leak. I mean. Oh, second fact, in 1873, Car Cartagena, Spain, wrote to President Ulysses S. Grant to ask to join the United States. That's interesting. Was was Grant just like, eh, nah. <laughs> we good. Um, you know what? It is the Counterspell Cube. I am going to just take the Counterspell. And look, we got an Elvish Mystic anyway. So what problem is? I do like uh, Prismatic Vista. I, I think it's really good, but. Last fact of the day. Cock ale was a popular drink in the 17th and 18th centuries, combining the flavors of beer and chicken soup. The recipe called for 10 gallons of ale and a large cock. The older, the better. Yeah, I mean, that's. That makes sense. Uh, that checks out. Also, on this day in 1502, the present-day location of Rio de Janeiro is first explored. Man, 500 years ago. What a time to be alive back then. Thran Dynamo came back? Both of these came back, so we could have literally just taken one of them and gotten the other. And now it's too late. Now we'll never have it. It might be Excavator. Maybe we can get enough fetch lands... I want to take Excavator. I don't think... Once Upon a Time is great, but I don't think it's really, like... I think the potential of ramming up Excavator is probably higher than Once Upon a Time. Take Kin and Bonder. I don't know if we're going to play it, but... Edric is sweet. I like Primal Might, though. I mean, Primal Might is removal in a, in a, in a color combination that often doesn't have a ton of removal, so... 
And then there's Beast Within. Lamhold Pacifist is nice. I do like Lamhold Pacifist a lot. Oh my god, Elder Gargaroth came back. Oh my god, my gratefulness is through the roof right now. We're actually like barely blue here. But our blue cards are good. Brontodon is also just playable, sure. Jeez, that's interesting. <sighs> Candelabra of your boy Thanos. Um, Eladomri. It's too bad Elder Gargaroth isn't an elf. Then we take the, the Eladomri. Torrential Gearhulk can hit Mystic Confluence and Mana Leak so far. It is probably Misty, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because I don't think these are ever exciting picks, but they are necessary. I like Kiora a lot. I like Glenn a lot. Jade Light Ranger is good. Hmm. I think it just might be Kiora here. What are what are our hits right now? Elder Gargaroth. And that's it. Okay. Could just be Glenn. We can also blink Glenn. On this day in 1930, first radio broadcast of Lone Ranger. 1930. S 90 years ago? Jesus. On this day in 1884, Abraham Merritt, American sci-fi author uh, who wrote The Moon Pool, Burn Witch Burn, was born in Beverly, New Jersey's. New Jersey's. More than one. Multiple Jersey's. Remember when I called Ella Domri El Eldamari? <laughs> I actually don't remember that. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, God's great things. That's what I was talking about. If Catcher of Triumph comes back, I'll be grateful. If Warm Coil Engine, yeah, that'd be cool too. But I'm taking this Consecrated Sphinx. Eldamari. I don't remember that at all, Christopher. That's hilarious though. Eldamari. He come from the Italian. I'm going to take Crater Hoof. I didn't even know Crater... I haven't even seen a Crater Hoof before this draft right now, so... <laughs> oh, good times. We have a good time. God, I hope. I hope we have a good time. Uh, might just be Palladium here. It might just be Ancient Tomb, actually. Yeah, I like Ancient Tomb here. I, I really don't think I want to go into red, even though I do like Huntmaster and Domri. I think I'm probably just taking Harmonize. I mean, the alternative is like Spearman 1 or Suttering Titan. We already have Kozilek and Crater Hoof. Might not even play the Kozilek. Merfolk Branchwalker is kind of sweet. You should put together a list for the Salt IQ would be put on MTGO. That's actually not a bad idea. Um, I'll take Branchy Boy. I'll take a Botanical Sign. Oh, man, Sublime Epiphany. That's fascinating. Yeah, I'm taking the Epiphany. I want to take Carnage Tyrant for the sideboard. Wow, Waterlogged and Jade Light came back? That's pretty cool. I really like Jade Light. Green Sun? I like a Green Sun. Eh, none of these cards are exciting. I'll take Karn. Karn is actually probably better than Harmonize. I mean, if you want to with Karn, you can usually draw about three cards, and uh, it makes creatures as well. Can you hear that? It's, it sounds super loud. It's like a jet flying overhead. They're probably coming for Michael. And 
Rackle. Do we have Channel is in the cube? I mean, I feel like we just take Emrakul because if we hit Tooth and Nail or like Channel, I don't know if Channel's in here. I could easily check, but I'm not going to right this second because <clears throat> I'm sure someone will tell me before I even get a chance to figure it out. Um, thank you. Grandma Boofy, thank you for the resub. Yeah, I'm just going to take Emrakul. I think the upside is too high. Oh, working Mystic Snake. Also, Gilded Drake and Control Magic are fantastic. I'm going to take Mystic Snake, though. It's too close to my heart. I don't know for a Thassa deck. I guess Blinking Jade Light Ranger is not bad. We're not a Ramming App Excavator, that's for sure. We're not scavenging using in the main. Second Misty Rainforest. We can have two now. I'm going to take Tooth and Nail here, because that's exactly what we wanted with Kozilek and Emrakul in the deck. That's exact. Oh, Breeding Pool? For sure. All I want is one Trop. Give me one Trop, and then we're talking. And then we got our 23. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Michael said he loves you all. You're all his favorite children. Oh, Lumbering Falls. Lumbering Falls is a dece. Michael lies. He doesn't love us. Badger said you don't love them. He said he loves you in a special way. A second breeding pool? Oh, man. Talk about talk about getting the business. That's nice. I can also see cutting Thassa. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure she's very, very limited here. Like, Branch Walker, Rex Sage, Jade Light Range. Oh, there's the Trop and a Frilled Mystic. Oh, boy. I think we're just taking the trop here. <sighs> I don't like it. I'm going to cut the Thassa and hope we can find one more card. I mean, we actually have a ton of stuff in this. In the, we can play Trigon Predator. We could play... That's probably it. That's probably it. We're a bit low on the ramp. No, nah, you're you're just being silly right now. Besides, that Arbor Elf's gonna come back, and then you're gonna feel real silly. All right, being so well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. You could, you could be totally validated by that guy not coming back. Oh, Phyrexian Metamorph, or Kogla. Kogla is good removal. Phyrexian Rhinomorph just copies anything though. I'm gonna take the Metamorph here. Oh, Temple came back. Temple come back. You can lay me up. I'm just going to take Temple. Our man is looking real good. Two Breeding Pools, Lumbering Falls, and Misty. Oh, Control Magic came back? Oh my goodness. This is nice because if they try to Gilded, Gilded Drake our shit, we can just steal it back. One of the things I noticed was having Gilded Drake and stealing our opponent's thing, unless they had a way to bounce it, it was real bad for them. Can we put a Historic Permanent card from your hand on the battlefield? Emrakul? Kozilek? Karn, Metamorph, Vivian. I don't think those are good enough. Okay, you're maybe you weren't being that silly. Maybe you were being all right. 
I still think our deck looks really sweet. Terastodon. We got a green sun at the end, right? No, it's right here. Beast Whisper. Even that guy's not terrible. Metamorph always goes in the three slot for me. I wonder if we can cut Kozilek. Maybe we just have Emrakul and like Crater Hoof. I think that's fine. I mean, I do want Emrakul. I just, I, we're going to, like, if we draw it, we can also draw Tooth and Nail. Like, I think that's totally fine. Trop, Temple, Misty, Lumbering, Breeding, Breeding, Ancient Pool. Our mana base is solid. <laughs> okay, so six green, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, ten, so this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, twelve, ten seems fine with me. Okay. I also like Tatiova a lot, but Tatiova is more of a six drop than a five drop because you want to be able to play her and then also play your land. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Turn one, elf, into turn two, branch walker with temple. We can set up our scry. Oh, it's explore, not scry. We can set up our explore with scry. Satisfied. God. How have you been? Badger, I've been all right. How about you, buddy? How about you? I may have some sweet news in the upcoming week or so. Oh, look. Look who it is. Look who it is. Let's scry. I want to put that on top because we don't have another land. And then we can just draw it. And next time we can play Karn. I've been a bit up and down. Yeah, I mean, like, that seems to be how it goes. How is, um... I think someone mentioned yesterday that Australia has like zero confirmed cases of COVID. Is that, is that your experience? It's so insane, dude. Only really, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we can just play Ancient Tomb and play around. Um... Oh, it's just resolved. Well, I did not expect it to just resolve. Sweet news. You finally went to Tor Torchies? No. We have concerts, sporting events with the crowds. Man, you guys are wild. Sigh into Mox Chrome. What if I just say all the names backwards? Scion of Urzakarn. Behemoth Crater Huff. Hmm. Jade Light Ranger, huh? That sucks. <laughs> yeah, I also want to travel. I have several places and things that I want to go do, but uh not really ideal as you as you likely know. What did they not give me? A breeding pool? Okay. Oh, you have to give me Consecrated Sphinx or Metamorph? Oof. Big oof. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six mana right now. So I'm pretty sure we go one, two, three. Oh, interesting. Let's keep that on top. Unfortunately, I did play a land, but...
Actually, why don't we use it on this guy, right? Uh, that would make this a 4-3. And then we're just attacking with it, so... Yeah, it seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're actually almost at Crater Hoof. Like, next turn we can actually play Consecrated Sphinx with Lumbering Falls and then Crater Hoof the following turn. Most cities like 15 to 20% of average wages for... Oh, you guys are talking about something else. John, what up, my dude? Hey, Cheese Wisp, long time no see, buddy. It's got to be at least, what, eight hours, I think? <laughs> Okay. Okay, that guy's fine. Oh yeah, you get that, Karn. There's your boy. Okay, so they're probably going to do some nonsense here. Uh, so we're just going to put Sphinx in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Consecrated Sphinx. Lumbering Falls, and we'll pass and plan to Crater Hoof next turn. Started Japanese classes in two weeks. That's pretty sweet. That's the closest you can get to Japan right now, so that's pretty awesome, actually. Okay, so they have one mana up. Okay. I'm going to assume this might be the end. And we're also probably going to make a token just to increase our... Uh, one, two, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, buddy, gonna attack you for like a million. This should be the end. Multiple breeding pools. Yeah, there's like two, two of each shocked and two of each fetch and probably two of each duel. Because there's only three colors in the cube. So you gotta think in a regular, in a regular cube, there's ten fetches and, you know, ten duels. In this one, there's only three of each, obviously. Um... So they just doubled up, which which I think makes sense, because otherwise there's just not going to be enough lands. Uh, Trigon Predator seems pretty good. Um, so right now we have Rexage, Brontodon, Trigon, Predator. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, I cut something. I don't even know what to cut. Our deck is like a, a well-tuned machine, you know? I'll take Jade Light Ranger out, actually. We can just trade one for one. Carmen, I feel like you've spoken Japanese before. I think we're going to... Mm. We don't have many accelerants to begin with, so if we're hoping for a hand with accelerants, it seems unlikely. However, if we can hit two lands, we, we have multiple plays. And we have several turns to do it, so... Consecrated Sphinx under a Mox, Chrome Mox. Man, that is sad. I can speak fake Japanese. It's wildly inappropriate. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. Oh, I have my bets.
Okay. Okay. They didn't hit a second land. Let's see if we can hit a third land. Oh, no. Okay. Sure. You got it. Oh, boy. Now it's online? Oh, no. Give me a land. It's just one land. Yeah, that's good. Now it's not online anymore. That's a two for one. Oh, I like this. I actually might just keep Mana Leak up. I actually, if I was them, I might have actually sacrificed both of these. This isn't doing any favors, and like, you're basically just sacrificing Mox Opal to hit a land. Let's drop this car like it's hot. Oh, man, we gave them something to do. That feels so bad. How many subs am I at? Uh, just shy of 400, I think. I mean, that's usually what I hover around. You can ask my Japanese lady friend how bad my Japanese is, though she does not speak English, so you may have a hard time. Hmm. Why aren't they attacking with Sai? I have a 2-1. I guess because it's the the trade off for us us taking one for them to take two is not as good. Um, yeah, let's just play Glenn. Love to hear love. Why do I have the song stuck in my head? I don't know. I don't know why Turning the Beat Around by Gloria Stefan is stuck in my head. I'm sure something triggered it. Longtime fan here who has only ever watched you on YouTube. I appreciate what you do. However, thank you so much for streaming right now where I can catch it and save me from the hell of proctoring standardized tests to a room full of sullen middle school. <laughs> I got you, buddy. I got you. You know what? Okay. I can resolve. The alternative is countering it. And then I don't get to counter their next thing. Oh, man, Badger with the gifted sub. I appreciate you guys. Oh, just attacking for one, huh? Also strange. That's a situation where I definitely would have attacked for two. Green Sun for four. What can that do? Interesting. Interesting. They think I'm looking at their responses. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, guys, I'm totally grading over here. Don't even, don't even concern yourself. Definitely grading. Like, I'm almost tempted to, like, green sun for two and just get, like, a merfolk branch walker just to try to hit a land, and then we can also keep up mana leak. The rare while I'm at work. What, what up, music mana leak? Or we can just play Vivian Reed and plus. But then we take this down, and I don't love that. We can also green sun for three and get Trigon Predator, and I kind of like that. It lets us still keep up. Yeah, I like that. That lets us keep up Glenn. Thrashing Paradise Merfolk Lamhold. Now it's definitely Trigon. Yeah, once you start getting emotional, if I draw twelve lands in a row, then you're then you're done for. 
that's when the jig is up trigon more like wygon am i right i don't no i don't think so i don't think that makes any sense okay okay uh huh okay see this is why we saved our control magic are they gonna take my trigon predator nice deal damn one day i'll be right roger i'm pretty sure you've been right before i think this time you just it wasn't a, it wasn't a slam dunk you know it's okay it happens i still believe in you it was a swing and a miss it was it you know Uh, I think we're just playing Vivian Reed and plussing Vivian Reed. Destroy an artifact, enchantment, or a creature with flying. I'll just look at the top four. Oh, oh, oh! I think it's I think it's Mysterian Forest. We do want we want more blue sources. Blue is definitely one of our bottlenecks right now. Had a friend tell me nothing rhymes with orange. I said, no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, boy. You clearly don't know how rhymes work. I mean, I've been waiting for, like, there's, like, three packages I have that are out for delivery, just more cube stuff and things. And, um... At first it was like, should be there by 11, 11.45 today. And I was like, uh, it's not. And I was like, should be there by 12.45 today. And I was like, uh, no, no, it's not. I'm like, should be there by 7.45 p.m. tonight. And I'm like, okay, now you're getting somewhere. Is one of them peanut butter whiskey? <sighs> Buddy, the peanut butter whiskey ordeal has been something. I'm going to destroy this thing. I, I think you should have moved the lightning greaves to it. I'm going to go get a trop. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Steal back my own guy. Now we have both Mana Leak and Glenelendra up, and they're just going to concede. All right, our deck is good. Remember when people were like, no one will ever buy anything on the internet? I don't remember people being like that, but that does sound like a thing people would say. I'll do my best not to shout, but Frank, I could be damn inspirational. I appreciate that, but I don't know if that's true. If you buy stuff on the internet, it clogs up the tubes. Al Gore told us that. Sometimes I want to make a pun about sodium, but then I'm like, nah. An inspiration to dams everywhere. What does that mean? Is there anything I wouldn't buy on the internet? Probably. <sighs> Ugh. <laughs> oh, Badger, you're fantastic. So this is all right. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. Really? Really? <sighs> so we can go, if we play this guy next turn, we'll have one, two, we'll have five mana, but that doesn't really do much more than just like Ancient Tomb by itself. Ancient Tomb lets us play Karn next turn, which is kind of cool. From years ago. <laughs> Actually, I think we let this resolve and we just wreck sage it. 
Because next time we can play Rex Sage and Elvish Mystic, and that's pretty cool. We on that counter spell meta? I mean, that's the only meta there is, so. Kind of, yeah. Oh, we know they have Force Spike now. That's good to know. Oh, that's also pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're just Jade Lighting here because it lets us play around several things. Fencer? Is this Cryptic Command? Because then we're mana leaking it for sure. Oh my god, this is definitely Cryptic and they're just figuring out the modes. Wow, that worked out really well. I'm going to probably keep this on the top. We don't have double blue, so I'm actually going to put it in the graveyard. I want to put both these in the graveyard. I want to hit lands here. You wouldn't download a car, would you? I'm like, yeah, why not? That sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have seven on the top. We can actually just tooth and nail to put Crater Heaven to play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do they have six their turn? No, because they played a land. Interesting. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, nah, we're probably just going to play Karn here. Thank you. Oh, Cthulhu Thank of you, you with the, the gifted subs. Paying it back. Oh, man, that's awesome. You guys are fantastic. Cook, 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 cook. Oh, dang it. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm glad that all the cards in their graveyard are um counter spells in the sense that like they can't just flash back a thought seize or like a mind twist or something. That's completely fine. We might just kill them actually. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, what up, Josh? Interesting. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus four, plus four. It's really sad we don't have the card in hand, the creature in hand. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think it's exactly lethal. Um, put up to two creatures. Yeah, this is exactly lethal. Which is pretty hilarious. Hmm. 
That's the island greeting that we'll send to you. Crater of Behemoth wins every game. Predator seems really good again. It's a premonition of dreary times ahead. Uh, I guess I'll take Dreary Light out again. Seems fine. <laughs> oh my god, you cannot make me start singing Christmas Simply Heaven. Oh my god, just stop. I can't. Simply Heaven. Wonderful Thank thing. You. Time to do. To Cassius, welcome back. It's been a while since I was able to catch a live stream, but I keep up with the VODs on YouTube. Thank you for all the content and all you do. This year has been insane. So glad of your raid. No, such a terrible present. Yes. Same. I think we mulligan this hand. The Ancient Tomb doesn't do anything for us. And we only have two lands. And I think this is significantly better. We'll put Tooth and Nail back. I like it. I am very. I am also over very much over jury times. Oh boy. Looking at getting a fire resistance safe for my magic cards in this new place. And yeah. I I could I could imagine both the magic cards and the safes are both expensive. T Waz, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you I'm glad you weren't uh you weren't made to look silly during the draft portion. What did we say was gonna come back? Oh the Arbor Elf, and it didn't. It never did. All right, well, this is a turn four Mystic Snake, hopefully counter whatever you do. Turn five, Consecrated Sphinx. That's really... Sub for the cavern. <laughs> you guys joke, but that's all I can ask for. Oh, I like that guy. One, two, three. Hunter's doing big dreams over there. Oh, minimum 800 for a small fireproof safe. Yikes. That is a bit much. It looks like we're having a counterspell war. So four, five, six, seven. I only have four cards. Like, next time I'm going to play Trigon Predator and just keep up Mystic Snake. Is that a thing I can do? Ancient Tomb makes it awkward. Because you kind of got to have to keep the... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's awkward. Oh, that's interesting. Just freeze your cards in Ziploc bags. Yeah, that's 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 a thing. A wonderful Christmas time. It is January twentieth, and this dude is singing Christmas songs still. Unbelievable. This is gotcha journalism, and they're not going to gotch me. Um, sure. What do you bounce? Just Cryptic Commander? That seems fine. Nothing you bounce can really, like... Thank you! 
Nothing you bounce can really threaten me. Oh, May 1. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll have 6 mana. Okay, that's fine. Unless that gives you mana for your... Oh, no. Oh, God. They're not going to get a mana leak as one or two cards. <gasps> you did not have a mana leak. Two lands, huh? Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It's also kind of rude. A little bit rude. Uh, okay, that guy's pretty good. I really don't want to take more damage. I think I'd rather just have... Oh, fuck. That's unfortunate. I guess we're going to discard probably Breeding Pool. I think they're just way ahead right now because we just didn't have a lot of early game. Oh boy, so you're going to cast that, huh? Yep, that'll do. Okie dokie. Um, simply, uh, then I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think scavenging is in. Um, Glenn seems great. All of these seem fine. Everything seems good. I'm going to submit with 41. We've drawn a ton of lands. Sure. <sighs> well, I could see taking Primal Command out, but like, we're Primal, not Primal Command, Primal Strength. Oh my fucking god, every game I've drawn Emrakul. <laughs> That's, Jesus. Ancient, ancient tomb off the top. No, it's not an ancient tomb. Okay, so I get to play something here, which is kind of nice. Ideally, let's draw Rex Sage and kill their Warm Power Stone. We did not do that. Oh, Tooth and Nail and Crater Hoof? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Happy having wonderful Christmas time. Did you a Garner do this? Because that's really, that's really disturbing. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, good. Dueling Carns. Um, do they play a land this turn? No. Yeah, I'll give you an island. Island still seems worse. For them. Hmm.
Oh, they're going to give me a breeding pool. Next turn we can get a Rexage and still keep up Mystic Snake. That seems good. Yep, get another island. Push it to the limit. Um, let's see if they want to counter this guy. If they do, that's fine, because they're tapping out. If they don't, then that's fine also, because we get to block their mirror. Catching up with Vinci Cubes, and have you ever noticed how likely you are to be matched with someone who is playing the same archetype? Yes, I've, I feel like I've mentioned this as well. It's also very weird. We can have another island. And you play the island. Lotus Petal. Okay. Oh, I feel like this is a mere battle sphere. Actually, upkeep, we can bounce that. And their Karn. One, two, three, four, five. We'd still have some mana. I am afraid of like a remand here. Oh, we can't bounce the card with Mystic Confluence. That's not how that works. <sighs> bounce our two creatures and draw a card. Sure. That worked. Hmm. That's a that's a spicy meatball. Um So they have seven mana, right? So, like, they can play Consecrated Sphinx and then nothing else. Cool. That was fun. Hmm. 
scavenging ooze, huh? Literally can't do anything here except for play a land. We have no one drops, so. That's nice. Bottom that. <sighs> Emrakul. Keeping Rex Sage. Pitch Sublime. We have these two. I don't think we need another land. So what are we keeping? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't care about scav. Actually, scavenging gives us something to play next turn. So does Rex Sage, though, so that's fine. Uh, yes, we want Tooth and Nail. It's definitely one of our, like, primary ways to close out this game. You gonna counter this? You gonna remand it? Sure. Got it, got it. Good counter it again. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Yep, that seems good. Yep, that's probably going to call it. Yeah, they up -geveled. Yep, that's pretty good. Guess we lose. I guess we can kill the Gear Hulk now. Maybe we're not too far behind. Five, we go four, no, we go six. Oh my god, dude, that's ridiculous. One, two, three, four. So we go to four if we kill this, we block here. I think it's Gargaroth. And just hope they don't have answer. Alright. Well, hope you don't have like cryptic command, I guess. Yeah, pretty sure we're dead to like Sublime Epiphany or some bullshit. Should have played around, uh, well, this is artifacts, so they're not, I knew it was a duplicate, it was fucking amazing, yep, good times, should have played around upheaval, I guess. Music Manly, have a good night, buddy. I'll see you later.
Every game, like I said. Every game. Every single game. This hand seems good if we can hit a land. I will keep this and sh ship this. Is this the same is the same person? What's going on? Alright, no plays. Sounds good. Brainstorm. Sounds bad. Oh, they brainstorm locked themselves. Now they have only one land. You can counter this. But you'll still have one land. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Discarded Mind Slaver and Mystic Confluence. Sure. I'm just hoping we can draw another land so we can play our Karn. Hey, would you look at that? Hey, welcome back to the Counterspell Cube. Always a pleasure. Doesn't matter if you have four mana. If they have two, you're not going to have your spell resolve. Oh, they're playing something. Emery, sure. Well, this actually seems very good. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Do -do. I mean, we have a bunch of counter spells in our deck too, but like they don't start until like turn four. We have one mana leak. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, obviously, we played this deck last night, but that's because it's a necessary evil. <laughs> doesn't make it fun, it doesn't make it correct. Alright, I'm going to make a 3-3 here because I think uh, I think I just want to have a bigger board presence right now. <clears throat> this lady. Okay, you got it. My sister is here talking to my ears nonstop. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. I mean, they're dead on board if they don't cast a spell. I guess that's... I guess that's a spell. So long, Gargarino. Yep. Yep. 
Is there anything we can get that would kill them? Do we have any five drops? Four of drops? Four, four of drops? Are going to play Mox Opal? They can't even activate a Mox Opal. We just get to kill Jace here? That seems good. Oh, alright. Then we'll just win. Um, let's play around f like four spike in days. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's lethal. Uh, we do not have questing beast. That'd be cool if we did though. Be a lot cooler if you did. Let's take a screenshot. Actually, I just want to know what my options are. And there's a big fat emerald at the end. Sure, let's keep that in mind. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. I'm gonna bring Trigon Predator in. So let's actually take the screenshot before we make our changes. That's a good idea. That's smart. It's not that smart. He ain't very smart. Uh, we'll keep this because of Branch Walker. And we got to get that we got that two three four five six curve. Breeding pool, crater hoof. Now we got that two three four five six eight curve. Graveyard. Not going to pick up another four drop when I don't even have a fourth land. And that just makes our chances like we have one in two chances to uh, hit a land. That's not how that math works. Only one of the two cards could even be a land, is what I meant to say. Days is not in the queue, but Force Spike is. So, mm, Force Spike. No? Okay. Well, they do get to Lotus Bloom this turn. And the doorbell just rang. Oh boy. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, Aether Flux Reservoir. When we have Thrashing Brontodon out. Interesting. <laughs> it, was, it was the Bork Patrol. <laughs> oh boy. Pretty sure we're just keeping Mystic Snake up here. They have two lands. It's turn five. I don't think we're in any uh, serious risk here, so. But, like, you've just witnessed twice why I don't like Brainstorm. <laughs> because it actually requires you to have things like fetch lands or way to shuffle your deck. Um, like, 
a good portion of the time. Unless you're literally just like, you're getting one Sensei's Divining Top activation out of it. And I don't even like Sensei's Divining Top. <laughs> I mean, they're on like a two-turn clock. If they cast anything, we get to Mystic Snake and kill them. They gain a life from the thing they cast. I'm actually going to put... I'm not actually going to put this on the play untapped in case they play like something that we want to Thrashing Bronton on and Mystic Snake. You know what? Sure. If you want to crack a Lotus Petal to go get a land... What's a land other than just a permanent lotus petal? Every game. Literally every game we've drawn Emrakul. Just gonna keep passing. Like, they're at one. We have two lethal threats on the board and we have a counter spell. So they have to have an answer for the counter spell, an answer for the two lethal threats, and they have to have it with three mana. So... Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Go to twitch.tv slash franklaport and be sure to show some support for your local streamer and content creator. It's a great way to support the channel and uh, it's one of the few ways that I get to support myself and live. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate y'all. I'll see you next time.